On the third day of Christmas, my best bud gave to me ambrosia salad. Yummy. Yeah, you did very well on that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing. Oh, well, ambrosia. It's a fun word to say. It's very fun. Ambrosia. What you does know, it, it mean? It means uh, delicious and, or fragrant. No wonder I like it. Because it smells really good. Fragrant. So I could be wearing ambrosia perfume. Uh, there probably has been an ambrosia perfume. Yeah, if not, I'm almost certain be. of it. There should be. You could be. dab a little bit behind her ears. <laughs> yeah, this is better than the onions we just ate then. Oh my gosh, that's all I can taste are those onions. But yeah, this is ambrosia salad. Mm. And the ingredients are like coconut, mandarin oranges, pineapple. Cherries, I see cherries. Cherries, which makes it very festive. Sour cream, um, and you can do Cool Whip, or if you're really good, you make your very own homemade whipped cream, which is easy. It's easy to do, whipped cream. It's really good. So is dipping out of a Cool Whip tub. Well, but it tastes, very it easy. tastes a lot better if you do the, the Cool Whip. I mean, well, I like the this one. Heavy whipping cream. Yeah, it's really good. Now, in Greek mythology, I'll give you a little history oh, lesson. Oh, okay. In Greek mythology, ambrosia is what the gods ate. Oh. And it's what kept them immortal. And any mortal that ate it would die. Yeah. That's, that's like the mythology of it. Ambrosia. Any mortal that ate it died. Yes. So the immortals lived? Is the gods were immortal, and that's how yeah, they maintained okay. their mortality. Immortality was with ambrosia. Okay. It's right. just the history All of the right. word. So if I eat this and live forever, well, I'm a I think Greek it will make goddess. I'm a Greek forever. goddess. All but right. then in the 1800s, oh, there's more. There's okay. you love All my right. history lessons. <laughs> yes. Okay. In the late 1800s, citrus became more prevalent, and so then you started seeing more dishes in cookbooks that use citrus, and this uses citrus, and that's why it smells so good. Okay. And you know, like Little House on the Prairie, they would get like an orange in their stocking at Christmas. I don't remember that's that what, episode. Oh, you didn't read the books? No. Girl, read a Just book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's try this because it all looks right, really right, good and right. it smells okay. heavenly. And it has marshmallows in it. And I like when food has nuts in it. But this has coconut in it, and I don't know, a lot of people don't like coconut. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, so we'll see. I'm going to eat all of this. Mm. This is so good. Is really good. This would be like one of the best things that I would get at mm -hmm. a... Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. And this should never be forgotten. No. Ever. Well, my mother still serves this. Yes, my mom makes it, but this one's really good. This is very good. I wonder good. who made it. And, I don't know. Mysterious. Mysterious. And it has nuts, so leave those out if you have somebody who has an allergy to nuts. We don't mm. want to kill anybody at Christmas. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah. But it's very good. Now, is coconut, how does that fall into a, a, a peanut allergy? Mm. It's a type of nut. Is it? Mm-mm. It's a coconut. No, it's not the same, though. Okay, so yeah. it would be all right. All yeah, right. it'd be okay. So this is good. We're it's a keep... wonder you're not a doctor. No, we're going to keep this, and we're going to keep eating, too. So. Yes. Yes.